All right, here we go. Finally, some boots, chest plate, and a good helmet. Oh, I didn't see you there. Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We're just back on Maple's world. I've got some mending books. Uh, I was able to finally get a mending villager uh, after last episode. And so now, actually, I'm going to go over there. Actually, I've got to grab. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Let's get out of F5 so I can see where I'm going here. Got to grab some materials here. Because we're about to build something very important down at the villager trading hall. ourselves a giant villager head. I will eventually get get three more put up. One there, one there, one there. Uh, just to round out all the different corners in, in the trading hall uh, crossways here. But for now I just wanted to get one up so that I can kind of get a feel for how it's going to fill the space. And I also have to do some mob spawning up top here. But yeah, if we look, if we, if we take a look at it, even from a higher angle, this is this is fantastic. I I designed this mm, probably a couple of years ago now uh, on on the Exuma Void Plot World server, which again thank you Exuma for having run such a good server. You and your team uh, back in the day, and now I finally get to put it in the world. Now that I actually have a villager trading hall, I actually have somewhere to put this model. In the meantime, though, I think I think we're gonna split our attention. Oh, uh, we're gonna say goodbye to Mendez. Goodbye, Mendez. He's our mending villager. Yeah, goodbye to you too, Mendez. And uh, we're we're gonna go take a look at another project that we're working on right now. Welcome to the Mushroom Mountains, everyone. I've been chipping away doing some work getting rid of all the mycelium and dirt off the island at least above level 64 and as you could see there's still lots of mycelium left over on the areas that will be grass level so uh, got a long way to go still we've always had a long way to go but it's a little shorter now uh, let's see yeah that's compare that to what we have here it's a lot less purple than it was but yeah the mycelium just comes back with a vengeance so I think I think this episode I'm gonna try and take instead of just well probably in between taking out the the, the mountainous bits and all the parts above the level we want to build on I think I think I'm gonna be trying to splice in some some grass in here some grass and and hopefully get that to take over instead of the mycelium. So I almost wonder if these kind of little mycelium particles, the little black gray dots, I wonder if they're maybe making my frames not too happy here. Uh, probably not, but I'm not sure. And there's only way, one way to find out is to get rid of them all. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to do uh, next. All right, we're back. We've got most of this mountain flattened and then the rest of these little mountains will just take a little bit but it's it's been a good like week and a half getting this thing f 
for that. And like I've been working on other things as well, but mostly a week and a half. We've got the grass in. We've got uh, that peninsula just kind of, I might leave for the moment because I might just take it out completely. But for now, we've got grass in replacing most of the mycelium. A couple islands kind of left just in case. And we're back. So I thought I recorded this clip and then I did some building on camera, some redstone, and then uh, I either didn't have OBS set up properly or it lost my file. But I think I think it's more the former than the latter here. So in order for these guys to breed, we need to feed them, as we saw last episode. Shirley and Shirley, they, they need food to, to make the babies and pump them through there. So what I've done is I've set up a mechanism so that we have a we have a dispenser up there. We'll have it fed by hoppers with food for them. And basically they're going to get that food anytime we hit this lever. You can hear the dispenser going off. It's empty, so it's not really doing anything, but this lever is going to activate the redstone. Uh, this piston pushes that redstone block up there to that one. And of course that piston up there will shove this observer into this other, above this other observer here, and they'll create a clock that just dispenses whatever's in the dispenser. So now we just have to get get the the feed in. In the meantime, though, I've been working pretty hard on getting these uh, villager faces done up. We've got we've got three of them now. I'm uh, just working on the third here, and these guys look really funny from behind without without noses. They they look really silly. I'm glad they have noses. Villagers look better with noses. Change my mind. They're they, they're kind of flat without them too. So. That's a little bit of depth, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to chug away on that, and then maybe we'll even pull some of this uh, stone scaffolding away. We'll even p peel back the the layers and, and see how high this looks from down here, because you can't really get a good feel for that uh, quite yet. There we go. And now, just need it to hang down. Oh. To hang down. There we go. Now it's all, like all the others here. Perfect. So that is the last villager face done. By the end of the episode, I want to I wanna get the roof opened up a bit more here. But uh, I want to turn your attention to some of the redstone I'm going to use for actually getting the... Well, basically an item elevator for the villager food. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use a bubble column. And I'm going to have a barrel to put the food in. Once the food is in the barrel, uh, it's, Hopper's going to take it down to the dropper here. Comparator is going to read that there is something in there. And that'll essentially send this piston back and forth. I might see if I can add some delay in here uh, just so we don't have a piston powering and unpowering over and over again. Uh, but for the moment this will work. And then uh, what we'll do is, is, is again, observer timer powering the the up, upward facing dropper into the soul sand and then up the water stream it'll go there. That, in theory that should work and I'm actually just getting the I did this off camera, kind of just, I was just in the groove building. And so now, now it's time to actually get the, the water streams in place here. I'm going to have to remove some of my, well, I've already kind of moved some of my redstone from the previous system here. Because we did have, uh, I moved this lever, basically the, the lever that, that actually dispenses the food. Those are going to be two different systems just to make it easier for me to troubleshoot if something goes wrong or or if something changes in a later update I can I can come back and just change one thing possibly that's always nice when I can do that but uh, well, I thought I dropped all that redstone or some of it that's fine uh, anyway so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get get this going and and see where we end up in a little bit here 
All right. So I've been doing some things. I've actually been doing a lot off camera, a lot of grinding. Hello, Butcher. Um, come back here to the villager trading hall to actually grab some stuff that I am going to need a little bit here. Just make sure that, yeah, okay, good. Got to grab the right one because they're both lime shulker boxes in the same spot. Uh, so, of course, that's confusing. Uh, as you can see, we've got the middle bit of the our scaffolding dug out between these faces and now we can kind of get a bigger a better idea of the scale of this area like where I'm standing on Y30 Y42 and this goes almost up to uh, the surface there there's some caves really close to the surface when you're standing on the villager heads you can hear mobs at night uh, on, on the surface and that's not concerning at all because I have it all sealed up hopefully uh, hopefully there aren't some caves in the back end there that connect up to this, or things could get kind of hairy, but uh, I'm pretty sure I sealed them all up. Anyway, uh, what we need to do, oh, I'm, I'm going to need to sleep, because to show you the redstone, the villagers have to be awake. That's an important part of this. Rockabye maple in the village hall. All right, um, let's get this out of my, there we go. So so we've got the, our, our redstone in, our clocks are in place, both here and I think last time I showed you it was up there as well. You can see the observer little facing down. I'm probably going to put a nice facade around this. Uh, I still have to kind of design something that would look nice or at least get a block palette together, I think, because cause I want... Mm, I want I, I want to incorporate the stone bricks, but I don't want it to just be flat stone bricks and I also need to figure out where the stairs to the up upper levels this is going to be so we'll we'll get that sorted eventually uh, but for now uh, I think I think we need to get this tested out here so let's let's feed some villagers let's pop our carrots into the barrel which is activating that clock a few times there I can't actually tell if they're going up into that system though from here maybe glass would have been a better choice but that's fine and then so that's that's the elevator now to get them actually fed we need this to go and that's definitely dropping things so that's good how much of the food are they picking up they're picking up most of it I'm not seeing any on that fence Post there so they must be picking it all up let's turn that off see if they they decide to bring someone new into the world here oh they have nice now the tricky thing is that the baby has decided to jump on the bed again and is not actually going through that's kind of what I was concerned about. It sounds like this is... No, it's still going. I'm just going to let that run, but I'm, I'm a little concerned that the baby just sticks to the bed. Doesn't actually end up in uh, in our, our, our system here. I already had a one, one villager try to... One of the... One of the, the Shirley's tried to escape before, and I had had to maneuver some pistons and stuff to get, get her back in, but now I'm concerned that we're not having enough villagers leave. I'm having the opposite problem. <laughs> so I guess that's fine uh, for now. I'll, I'll sort something out for that. In the meantime, I let's see, we've got our villager heads, we've got our stuff, I've slept. I think I think it's about time I get used to using this water drop here first there we go and I'm gonna pop over to uh, the thing I've been working on since since uh, last cut there all right this is a climb I've done a few times here and as you can see look at that look at where that mountain used to be look at where it is now look how flat all this is so this is are gonna kind of be be our base level to to build the island on 
Uh, if we look at the map over here, which I tried not to get too far away from before we got too far into it. So yeah, all the mountains are gone in about a, a al almost half of the island, about two thirds of the island just flattened and we've got grass growing in and grass being cut outside. But you know what? That's fine. It's, we're in the city. That happens. Uh, I'm just going to put up with it. Uh, but yeah, we've got grass going in. I think, I think what I want to do is, and we're going to just turn this map so it's facing this way. Nope. This way. There we go. So this is kind of the orientation that my island has in Animal Crossing here. So if we think of this as like the, the northeast corner of my Animal Crossing island, what I want to kind of do is work from there down, basically across like that, or down and over. And from so we can kind of get like the, I've got a graveyard on my island, that'll be in that, in that top corner. Down here will be like Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters and the museum and everything. Down here is like uh, resident services and like the airport and stuff is all down here. A few houses here, a couple of houses near the middle. And then sort of this end of the island is kind of the more rural end of that. So I think I think what we're going to do is we're going to get started on some of the terraforming here. Get that set the right way around here. And I'm going to need grass. I'm going to need lots of grass. All right, guys. So here, here we are. This is what I've got so far for the graveyard. And it's really just mostly just making sure I have everything where I want it to. I think I'm, I think, and I kind of planned this so that I could switch over to this, but I think I'm going to go more for uh, how it feels it fits together than, than necessarily going block for block scale. Uh, but this, this feels like about a good size for the graveyard compared to what I have in Animal Crossing. Uh, as you can see, we've got some trees uh, or placeholder trees till I actually do the actual branches and stuff on them. Uh, but th those are those are coming along. I've got those designed in a creative world. I, I might show you next episode. I'm not sure. Leave a comment if, if you want to see that next episode. And we'll maybe take a visit to that creative world. But you can see we've got the, the stone stairs. We've got stone brick in here. That measures about to, to the same. Um, and then it's a little it ended up being a little bigger than I initially planned. Initially I had an 11 by 11 slab of grass here. Uh, as you can see, uh, if that is the 11th block on this end, I've kind of gone out three blocks this way. And of course I've continued that on down because that's basically going to be the whole back of the island for the most part, uh, is, is just the back of the cliff, which no one really ever sees anyway, so that's fine. And I've got more stone to get rid of before I can really continue that on of course and then we've also got uh, these uh, these walls here these these andesite walls with the the iron bars again a lot of the creative stuff I've been testing for this is in 1.16 snapshots where where these walls are flatter uh, when they when they're not really connected to much and the iron bars, they actually connect to the walls beside them. So, so this will look better as of June 23rd, when Mo Yang has announced that the update will drop, the 1.16 update. And that's exciting to me. Uh, they announced that yesterday, day before, recently, and this week, and I'm super excited for that. But yeah, so. So we've got we've got that going on. I I'm gonna be kind of using this kind of six block section here. I didn't have sand on me at the time, so I used glowstone. But we'll be measuring this out so that we have a beach that's about six blocks wide, uh, more or less the whole way of the island. I might have to take that section of grass just completely out, and that's fine. I kind of saw that coming. But uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to light this section. I do like the grass being a little grayer and darker because it fits the graveyard feel it's not going to fit the rest of the island which is why we have this nice vibrant bright green going on here that's wonderful let's see what else we've we got here we've got 
no, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this a little longer. Uh, we're gonna have to wait till the 23rd to get some of the, the little accent pieces, some of the rocks, the darker rocks by the ocean. Or I'm gonna use the blackstone, the 1.16 blackstone. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Uh, anyway, I think we're I think we're gonna I'm gonna work the, uh, work on this off camera here in between episodes, and we'll end it here. So anyway, I hope you. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like or a comment or subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll see you next time as we continue this on. Have a good now. Have a good later. Goodbye.